Hello everybody, this is a very large object here, and I am here to give you a review of the Motorola Edge X30. Um, this is the first device to have the brand new 4 nanometer uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. Now, this chip is, well, very powerful. <laughs> um, like, to just show you how powerful it is, let's just open up, um, uh, where's PP, SSPP, PP, SSPP. And with this, I'm also going to be using this, yeah. which is the Razer Kishi. I will be going more in depth in this controller next. So if you want to see a video on that, uh, please stay tuned. Okay, so let's just open up uh, Tony Ox Pro Skater to Remix, which is known to not run very well when it's um on the Oh, let me actually just this. Known to not run extremely well on lower end chipsets. Um, and let's do the brightness needs to go up a little bit. So speaking of brightness, it has a max brightness of 700 nits. It supports HDR10 plus, and it has a, as Adobe Atmos um, software um, built in. Now, how much does the uh, uh, Adobe, uh, sorry, Adobe Atmos actually matter? Um, I don't really think it'd, it'd be actually a lot, um, truth be told. So load complete. So as we can see, so far so good. And I don't want game options, sound options, and we are going to So as we can see, it's running pretty well. All right, so we have that. Let's, uh, let's actually see what the settings are. Game settings, graphics, it's under the Vulcan backend, um, and let's see, four times PSP um, native resolution, but it is playing at full speed. So let's actually test to see if we can go higher than four times the native resolution. Let's try five. Let's go back and continue. Okay, five times. Still doing it. So let's try it even more. 
Let's make this thing suffer. <laughs> Let's see. Settings. Let's do six times. Continue. Still not sweating. All right, okay. No, again, perfectly fine. Six times PSP native resolution. Uh, let's go all the way whole hog. 10 times PSP resolution. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh my god. It's actually doing it. Um. This is the best this game has ever looked. So, 10 times PSP resolution running perfectly fine yeah okay <laughs> all right so let's let's actually do that okay now when it comes to dolphin let's take a look at that so i know for a fact there are going to be games that are not going to run very well um, on this device. So I'm going to focus on the ones that do run pretty well. This one being one. And you can see the uh, FPS in the top corner here. Even the menu. Running perfectly fine. Let's go into melee. And this is without the full screen hack, but I can change that. Settings, graphic settings. Let's see how enhancements. Widescreen hack. And then... Oh boy. Settings. And I want to just tell you guys right now, this is the first Android device I've had in 10 years. So, <laughs> it's been a long while. Kinda nice being able to play some <laughs> retro emulation here. Ooh, I heard that. Hey. 
Hey. Sorry, I'm actually enjoying this game. It's, it's like, I feel no latency at all. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to settings. Graphic settings. Enhancements. Internal resolution. So I set this to native. So let's see if it's running fine at our screen's native resolution. Okay. So this is at 1080p. Obviously, Pikachu won there. I was playing against super easy AI. It didn't matter. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, exit the emulation. Let's try. Let's try another one here. At 1080p. Ah, here's one that no one no one tests. So here's disk one chaos theory. I started disk two when I first when I did the first take of this video. <laughs> And it's like, oh, it needs another disc. And I was like, oh, shit. How do I load another disc? But luckily over here, change disc is an option. Now, this game runs at a variable frame rate. So I think we should be able to see a <clears throat> pretty, good, uh, pretty good performance here. So let's see, English, start, solo, accessing the memory card, game. camera, you're not supposed to be out of focus here, don't focus on me, focus on the game. Is that better? Load game. Progress. No splinter cell. Okay. Mission. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Of course, I picked the darkest game. Hold up, let me turn the lights. Lights down. There we go. <laughs> Pick the darkest game for this. Lot out. Stealth. Now, as you can probably tell, there's two lines across the screen. Well. And it doesn't look quite right, right? So if I go ahead, I go over here to settings, graphic settings, enhancements, widescreen hack. If I turn that off, and I resume, that goes away. Now, and as you can see at the top here, it is playing around 30 FPS. Now, because this game is, has a unlocked frame rate, it's um, it's not tied to the uh, yeah. So it's um, what is it? It's physics is not tied to its um frame rate. So. Coming from up ahead, but Lambert. And I think Gorilla. I think Clash the Cops. What do you mean? I've had 
had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. Keep us posted. Game looks really good at this uh, frame rate. Suspicious, huh? Oh man, I love like old like mid two thousands water physics and stuff. Those are always super cool. <laughs> cool to see. Wow, all right. Well, I messed up there. That's fine. It happens. All right. Exit emulation. I haven't played that game in a while, so... But it's running perfectly. Um, let's see. Another one that people would like to see, usually, is Super Mario Sunshine. That runs perfectly fine. But... Let me show you another game here. Super Mario, uh, sorry. Super Mario is great, but um, let's try some Pokemon. It's always a dream to have a Pokemon game like that's all fully 3D and stuff like this um, on the go. But I guess we gotta do it ourselves, huh? So on top of it being, um, Let's go with, uh, um, uh, is it lower? Okay. Along with this being one of the most powerful, um, phones for Android, it is actually not that expensive. Um, you can get this for about 500 something dollars or so on eBay, as long as you're willing to wait. Um, I wasn't, I kind of wanted it as soon as possible, 
Um, so I made sure that um, I paid extra for shipping. That's fine. Well, let's see. Okay. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. This is a cutscene. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Let's see how the game performs um, outside of the cutscene. Okay. So it's running at 30 FPS. But half that, when these crazy effects come on. Huh. Got in claw. Yeah, so... It might not be doable in here. Let me just double check just to make sure that we can, let's see if we can do it at native. Okay. Let's see if this works. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, fight. Oh. Go back, item. You don't have items? Wow, oh, okay. Fight. Alright, that died, right? Okay. Okay, so it sort of started us on here. Looks like it's gotten its frame rate back, so we might have to play this at a lower resolution. But let's see if that starting sequence works better. Um, let me exit emulation and let me try that one more time. I just want to see what it's like at one times. So at the native resolution. The fact that we could upscale GameCube games at all is kind of nice on these types of devices. All right, get a little darkness. New game. Yep. And we're gonna go with Brian again. Because I do actually want to do a, a run, you know. If this game can run at its full speed. So here's the cutscene again. It's at full speed currently. Ooh. Nope. So even at one times resolution, this cutscene does not work. Okay. I'll try bump, bumping up the uh, internal resolution when we actually load in. <clears throat> but that's much better. I don't know where it's getting hung up on. That's okay.
Alright, let's see what this battle here. Earthquake. No, it's not dropping. It's pretty solid. This one's a hard one. That one's not dropping. Okay. Yeah, well, we might be relegated to native res on this uh, device here. For our Pokemon. <clears throat> All good. All right. that doing that? That's weird. So if I, I'm pressing down on the stick, but he's going up. How about if I do this down on the D-pad? Nothing. Okay. Is the stick just broken on this um, game? Odd. All right, let's see. Settings, graphic settings. Let's see if uh, we can do 1080p now. It's running fine in this part of the game. Okay. So it looks like in battles, you're gonna still be relegated to native resolution. Um, but technically, I guess, in the world... Ooh. Never mind. That's dipping. Okay. Alright, we figured that one out. <laughs> I haven't tried to emulate this game on this device yet, so... All good. And one more, just for ki uh, kicks. Honeyhawks Underground. <clears throat> and we're gonna play this at its... enhanced resolution here. And I'm going to have to make sure that the uh, aspect ratio is set correctly. <clears throat> Let's see. This is my favorite Tony Hawk game of all time. I would really love a new one to be made. Now this is running good. Oh. Alright, so usually it does stutter a little bit at the beginning. Let's see. Alright. We're going to have to go to options. Sound options. And we're going to have to turn that down. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Even though I love that song. Well, it looks like it's slowing down a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Let's see if we can run it at 720p. Let's see, settings, graphics, enhancements. Let's try running it at 720p. Which is still pretty good on this tiny display. Man, I felt like I was the guy at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Alright. No, that, that runs perfectly fine at 720p. So if you wanted to play this game at ooh, 720p, you could probably do it. Oh. Why did the... Um, was it the impossible that did that? No. It's here. 
this area, when this loads in, isn't very good. Okay, let me try it native res. Settings, graphics, enhancements. <clears throat> Looks much worse, but let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it goes over that spot pretty quickly. <clears throat> I don't think this is uh, the phone's fault. And this is the regular uh, Play Store version of the emulator. So I'm not using any special builds or anything. So if you wanted to get even better performance, you could probably use a different build of Dolphin. <clears throat> and I'll try to uh, remember what it was called. But it is currently not supported anymore as the developer is moved on to other projects. But that being said, um, this is actually pretty impressive. Um, and you can probably get the other games to run at a higher frame rate as well. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, no, I'm gonna, let's get out of here. So I'm gonna go do the rundown of the phone <clears throat> and pretty much tell you what I think about it overall. So as somebody who has not used Android in the past, uh, <clears throat> uh, what is it, decade? <laughs> the past 10 years. The first phone I had was a Moto X. And the Moto X was nice, um, but it would shut itself down um, randomly, and it would take about 45 minutes to turn itself back on, um, which is uh, quite terrible especially for a phone. Now, I have not seen that ex experience with this device. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, and another thing, I guess, to note here, and this is a really important one, is this is a Chinese device with a Chinese ROM on it. Um, so what that means is, oh, there's going to be a lot of applications on here that are in Chinese that you're going to have to um, find a replacement for um, on the Play Store. Now, while I say the Play Store here, um, Google Play, Google Play Services is turned off by default on this phone. Um, why is it looking that terrible? Oh, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, but Google Play Services is turned off by default on this phone. Um, now, that wouldn't be too bad if, um, if it weren't for the fact that uh, every app you'd kind of need would be on the Google Play Store. Um, and when I first installed the Play Store um, from an APK, I didn't do it from XDA forums. So what would happen was, when I hit the Play Store, it would <clears throat> just not work. Like, it would say, this this app is not made for your device, and you need to um, uninstall it and reinstall it. Now, the Play Store is a crucial element to the Android device itself, um, and the software itself. So you can't just uninstall the Play Store you'd have to go into settings, um, sorry, you'd have to go to the app itself here and hit the little eye icon here. Once you hit that, you go up to the three dots up in the corner and you hit uninstall updates. Um, once you do that, you can then try to install it from the correct APK, um, which is on the XDA forums. Um, <clears throat> So I will try to show a link to that 
in, uh, below in the description if you do decide to pick up this device. But once I had that installed and I installed all the Google apps, it's you, you wouldn't be able to tell this was a Chinese um, ROM or Chinese phone um, for that matter. Um, nothing else you'll see is going to be in Chinese. Um, because, let's see. Yeah, because like the browser starts off in like the on a Chinese website, you'll just have to sort of go to the search bar, go to Google, and then search that way. Because if you try to search in that search box, it's going to try searching through a Chinese search engine, which will try to filter out results. Um, against you <laughs> against your will um but yeah so overall that being said um this device is great um but do not get it if you don't feel like tinkering around with it and potentially <laughs> having multiple panic attacks of why uh, google play store isn't running properly um it does play call of duty mobile um, I will tell you this right now, it is not worth playing on an Android device um, because the controller support is broken. So this controller here is a physical USB-C port here. So there's no Bluetooth or anything. Um, so like you have to have permissions to or anything like that. Call of Duty should see it automatically, but it doesn't. So, now, if you don't get the Google Play Store running um, initially, you can download other apps through the APK Pure app, which is a alternative store. Um, now, I would say an alternative store, but you don't pay anything. So, I would say use this at your own risk. I don't know if the... APKs are quite right in this um, app. So as we can see, the store here, there's no prices on anything. There's the size. Um, oh, this one thing is a dollar. Yeah. So, yeah, there are apps on here that should be, should not probably be on this store here. Oh, uh, and it also has Aether SX2, which is um, a PlayStation 2 emulator, but with a whole lot of stolen content on here. But yeah, so that's overall the review of the Moto Edge X2, uh, X30, sorry. <laughs> so, so used to like these smaller names. Um, and I would uh, consider this device um, if you are looking to get into Android, um, <clears throat> higher higher end Android devices that look, uh, quite frankly, gorgeous. <laughs> um, this is my favorite looking device um, that's out currently. Um, but yeah. Um, also, if you have Ting Mobile, um, I think that's the best supported one, uh, supported carrier in the United States. You'll be able to use this um, with everything up to 4G. Like, all of their bands are supported. Ting does not have 5G, I don't think, supported on this device. Um, it's 5G bands, it looks like, no millimeter wave or anything like that, which is fine. Um, that's not super concerning. Um but uh, I tried putting in my Verizon SIM card, and it would jump from 5G to nothing. <laughs> so it only works with 5G on this. Um, but once those towers go up, um, I think I should be able to use this device um, if I were to choose Verizon down the line. But by that time, there's no real point in keeping this device around Um being that it's an Android device and they don't last very long software update wise. So we will see how this goes. Um, this will be a long term device for me um, to test it to see if I could get back into to Android and uh, test some work stuff out too. <laughs> um, 
But hopefully you guys like this video. Um, I will be doing an in-depth review of the Razer Kishi next. Um, I didn't get to, I didn't really talk to you much about its build quality or anything like that because that I think deserves its own little video. Um, and again, guys, I hope you have a, a great rest of your day. Um, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out.